homosexual stereotypes in the media. A video presentation by Tristan Grant and John Reardon. Media is everything public where one gains info. To push a concept, a portrayal of common humanity is often included in media through advertisements and entertainment episodes. With this, the media producers must accurately display society so it's recognized as normal to their audience. Because there are differences between all people, some offense is often taken when certain traits are portrayed with others left out. Everyone seems to have an opinion on sexual orientation, whether it's strong or weak. It seems as if the younger generation is taught to become more accepting of different ways, whereas elders might be sticking to their old-fashioned or religious beliefs. Many different shows newly include gay characters, Chuck Bass and Gossip Girl, Evelyn Harper and Two and a Half Men, Mango and Saturday Night Live, Brittany from Glee, Randy from Trailer Park Boys, and the list goes on. When people see how these characters are portrayed, they may assume that to be the normalcy of such oriented people. In the media, gay men are commonly associated with a more raspy or feminine voice. Girl, the party can now begin. Get out much? So where's the bedroom? So which ones tickle your hiney? The bigger, the better. Come here often? Because I'd like to. I'm 100% bottom. Just use whatever is in sight and shove it in. Lesbians, on the other hand, are commonly portrayed as masculine. Other associated stereotypes that tie in with that is, men are interested in fashion and women might be interested in something traditionally masculine such as mechanics. On that note, it seems as if fashion always follows gender traits. On TV, it isn't rare to see a homosexual man in skinny jeans and a lesbian woman with short hair. The television show Modern Family features a gay couple. One is an environmental lawyer and the other a homemaker. But who's the bride? In that show, the lawyer is seen as more masculine and the homemaker, of course, represents the female. He gets incredibly sensitive about even the tiniest comment concerning his physique. Hey, I think I'm going to take this spin class tomorrow morning. Oh, sure. Oh, I get it. Message received. I didn't say anything. The representation of gay people in the media is controversially stereotypical or untrue, with most shows over the decades sticking to the flamboyant male and the gruff manly woman. Producers stick to these traits for mere comedic value or because it's the only way they know how to write these kinds of characters. They often only exist as a plot device or for some form of running gag. With these two factors mixed, it's obvious televised portrayals can be deceiving. That said, no matter what the stereotype, it's important to remember that no matter what the media might say about your sexual orientation, it does not define your personality or the opinions you should have about them.